to another video. So today I will be answering the question that most of you guys ask me whether we should do BSc Biotechnology or whether we should do BSc Microbiology. Now let me give you a disclaimer. In this video I am not going to be belittling any of the field and neither am I going to tell you which one is best for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to compare both of these fields head on under different topics, under different points and I'll lay the facts for you. Then you can choose what is best for you. Now without much blabbering, let's get started. So firstly, the point that we are going to discuss is the syllabus. Now in biotechnology, I can just say one word to summarize it all that it is an umbrella. You're going to learn a vast number of subjects you're going to learn everything briefly, nothing in much details. And the beauty of the syllabus is that they introduce you to many new fields. Namely, you can do neurochemistry, epidemiology, pharmacology and even bioinformatics, which you will not get to do in microbiology. Briefly, biotechnology can be divided into three parts. First one is the plant biotechnology, second animal biotechnology and third is the microbial biotechnology. So you're going to learn basically everything in brief amounts. Okay, so that's what you're going to do in the syllabus for biotechnology. Next up in microbiology, you're going to learn everything about microbes, right from protozoans to bacteria to fungi and all of these life forms. You're going to learn about their applications in food, okay, in water, in remediation and different other branches. So even in beverages, right, you will be learning the process and what are everything involved. One thing about microbiology is if you were a medical aspirant, then this is as close as you can get to being a doctor because here you will learn about different microbial diseases. You will learn about their treatments and the vaccinations that are involved. One thing I forgot to add in the biotechnology one is that it is more of a technical subject. So you will be doing a lot of physics, chemistry and uh, even maths and this is mostly confined to the first and second years uh, you will be doing all of this. So if at all you really hate maths or physics then you may have to think about it. However, let me just tell you that these subjects are not going to leave you. You will have to do it at some of the other point. Okay, so that's about whatever you will learn with respect to the syllabus. Second one with respect to practicals. Now, let me tell you the perks of doing microbiology and biotechnology are its practicals. You're going to really enjoy all of the practicals in this. Now, the practicals that you will be do, that you will be getting to do is slightly different for both, right? In biotechnology, you will be introduced to ATC and PTC. Now, you will not get to do any animal tissue culturing since you're just learning. However, plant tissue culturing basics you will get to do. You will also do horticulture. Other interesting techniques that you will get to do are PCR, that is polymerase chain reaction. You would get to do cloning. You will get to do many DNA protein extractions and different biochemical assays. So that's about what you would do under biotechnology. Now, depending on certain institutes, you will get to do much more interesting practicals. Like if your institute is funded, they have a lot of fun. So they can help you to do many other experiments that are not possible in labs which are not funded. So before choosing any institute, uh, I would suggest you should Google up and check what instruments they have and whether they are funded by any governmental agencies like the DBT. So if that's present, then nothing like it. You will be exposed to many new instruments and you'll get to do many new practicals as well. Now coming to microbiology, in microbiology, you're going to do everything that you would need to apply once you go out from your bachelor's. Okay, it's quite exhaustive. You get to do different practicals that are applied in the pathology labs that are in food industry, water industries, etc. Now, so these practicals are going to be all related to microbiology and some biochemistry practicals as well. You won't be handling much of the instruments right in your BSc. Okay, but the thing is that since you are being going to do three years of the same uh, techniques, so what happens is you get very well versed with all those techniques. I've spoken to many teachers and recruiters and from them I can tell you that they usually say that microbiologists have a very good aseptic technique and they are very sound with their techniques. Maybe the reason is that practice makes you perfect and you're doing it for three years. So that's a great thing about it. So that's about the practical section. 
The third thing I'm going to talk about is the diversity. Now, I don't actually have to tell you this, right? Coming this far in the video, I think you quite can answer it for yourself. Yes, definitely biotechnology is much more diverse as compared to microbiology. Number four on my list is fees. Now, this thing I have included in this because it's a deciding factor for many. So the fees for microbiology is quite less as compared to biotechnology. The reason is because microbiology is a aided course, whereas biotechnology is a self-financing course. Okay, so the fees for microbiology per year will not cross 7,000. Whereas for biotechnology, it ranges from 40,000 to 60,000 per year, depending upon the institution. As I told you, depending on the practicals, the instruments they offer, etc., the fees can, you know, vary. So that's about the fees for both of this. But if you're really interested in pursuing micro, uh, in biotechnology further and you really want to do that, then you can seek for scholarships. BSc, I am not very well aware of scholarships. However, for MSc, I know you can give many entrance exams and you can get scholarships for the same. So that's about the fee part. The next point on my list is scope. All of you are, I guess, waiting for this key. What is the scope of these two subjects? Now, both have quite a majority of scope. Now, for me, I have divided scopes into two. One is the scope after doing your BSc in terms of education. And second one is in terms of job. So in terms of education, let me tell you that both the fields education wise, you will get to switch anytime you want. So after BSc microbiology, it's not that you can't do any other subject BSc's. You can go into BSc life sciences, you can do bioinformatics, you can do bioanalytical as well. So you can switch subject. However, in biotechnology, I can say that you are given a flavor of many subjects in your BSc. So it becomes maybe easier for you to choose out of all of this, which one you want to specialize in. Even if you don't want to special, specialize in any of this, you can end up doing BSc biotechnology as well. Sorry, MSc in biotechnology as well after your BSc in the same subject. So that's not a problem at all for you guys. So that's about the scope in terms of education. In terms of your uh, job perspective, I want to make this very clear. If you have it in your mind that as soon as you do BSc, you're going to earn a big package, then that's absolutely untrue, even for microbiology or biotechnology. After BSc, you have to do your MSc and PhD if you want to earn a good pay package. Say if you, uh, after BSc, you started working, then you can expect a pay grade like between 10 to 15,000 per month. Okay, and if I stretch, maybe 20,000, but that's quite rare. Okay, so the pay scale is not very high after BSc. However, the scope is good for microbiology. After your BSc, you can work into path labs. So you can easily get into a path lab because we do a lot of those techniques. Second, you can go into food and water industries. Now, there are many government posts also available for the same because every industry has its own microbiological testing unit, a testing lab. So there they definitely require bio microbiologists. For biotechnologists, you will be definitely preferred in biopharma industries because you have been well versed with the theory of it and you have been intro introduced to that subject at least and you know many of the techniques. So maybe there biotechnologists would be preferred. And uh, secondly, biotechnology being a technical subject, they get many offers from sales or when uh, certain instruments are being produced. Okay, so for the instrumentation part, since they have more knowledge, you open up another door right there. So that is about the scope in terms of jobs. And the last thing that I would want to conclude with, I can say that I can summarize my whole video in just saying that if you are a person who already knows that you like microbiology and you want to further continue in the same field, go for BSc microbiology. But if you actually are not very sure whether you want to do microbiology and you don't want to narrow down, you should go for biotechnology. And if you think that, you know, sometimes microbiology can get a little bit mundane because you're just learning about microbes. So if at all you get bored and you require more diversity, you like that, then you should go for biotechnology. But any field you choose, if you do it with your whole mind and soul, definitely it will pay off and you will excel in your field.
and another pointer quickly that i would like to add is for if any one of you are aspiring entrepreneurs then i think bsc biotechnology would give you a better way to put it because there you learn how and how things differently happen and how you can make them happen as well because you learn the instrument part and the idea part also so that's about it it's not that after microbiology you can't become an entrepreneur don't get me wrong but definitely i thought i should add this point right here so that's all for me about which one to choose microbiology or biotechnology if this video gave you more information about either of the fields or if you liked my video please like it share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel bye